Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Back to the Future the game for more point and click adventure game action. We are right back where we left off in the Doc's lab in 1931 and we're going to follow his instructions to hopefully synthesize this alcohol compound we need for the rocket powered drill. To the words I'm emphasizing. Don't you turn your back on me. I don't really know exactly what we've got to do here. Um, he's going to shout out instructions. And we've got a... Right, pressure. Is it this? I honestly don't know what to do. We've got to learn the commands that he's going to shout out. Right, so that was wrong. So it might take a little bit of trial and error here to learn... Who are you talking to in there? No one, father. To learn exactly what we've got to do when he says it. Um, we've got things over here as well. Eating. Is there something eating in here? Right, okay. That's the eating, I'm guessing. Right, so that seems right. Right, flame. I'm guessing this is the flame. So he's given us clues of what he says. It may may take a little while for me to sort of put together all the pieces. Right, shock. Um, is that this thing? Yeah, that looks like it's electric. So we might have figured it out. I don't know if there's anything else. Now twist the valve there. Great. We're about a quarter of the way home. Okay, so we've done a quarter of it. You're going to find out. You have no idea what kind of pressure I'm under. Right, pressure I think is this, isn't it? That seemed to be the first one we got. Maybe I should just get struck by lightning. Would that make you right, happy? lightning is this one. Right, so the puzzle's not that difficult. It's just knowing what each of the things he's talking about are. This has got to be burning, right? So I think it looks like there's four options. Stop being such a crank! Right, is this the crank? You know who invented fire pop? I don't right, know either. Fire. But damn sure it wasn't a lawyer. Okay, we seem to have got the hang of it. We're halfway there. Hopefully we don't have to start again if we screw up. I will, man. You too. Don't you have a release valve on your mouth somewhere? Right, release valve. The Browns have been officers of the court since God's heavenly spark first gave rise to man, Emmett. Uh, this isn't food for thought, Pop. It's food. I think we might have done it wrong. Yep. I think because... Pay attention to what I say. I'm not true with you yet. I think it's right. We obviously ignore what his dad says. You have no idea what kind of pressure I'm under. You damn Lawyers are nothing but a bunch of hot air. There, I said it. Hot air. Uh, is it this? How many times do I have to prove myself to you before I can shake your overbearing criticisms? Come down, come down. Doc's pretty clever to be able to come up with all these sayings. Spins around you like a top. Spins. It's got to be this, right? Gas. This one. Wow, this is getting pretty quick. Almost there. Okay. It's three out of four, I'm guessing. <laughs> this is um getting quick now, though. What do you call room full of lawyers trapped in a burning building? A right, burning. Well, if it weren't for scientists, men like you would still be dividing the future with sheep's bladders and goat Right, gizzards. bladders is probably this. The hotter you get, the more I know I'm right. Hotter. By Galileo's rotations. Do you ever listen rotations. to Rotations. <laughs> this is getting really quick. Stop getting so hot under the collar, Pop. Hot. Okay. Why must you always scatter a condescension? Scatter's got to be this. Pressuring me to be something. Pressure. I like how it's getting more frenzied on the screen as well. Eating me up inside. Right, eating. Don't you have a release valve on your release mouth valve. somewhere? You know who invented fire pop? Fire. I don't know either, but you can be damn sure it wasn't a lawyer. Is it my fault if I don't get a spark out of laws and statutes? Spark. Got to be almost done, surely. Uh, I 
I'm afraid we'll have to take this up later, Pop. My soup's about to boil Yes, over. I think we've done it. What? This is an That's a pretty cool puzzle. I really enjoyed that. Are you okay? You and your dad sounded pretty simple, but quite intense. A long time ago. We... Uh, what's going on? No. Oh, what? <laughs> oh, right, we stopped doing it. Seems like a very complicated way of making what we need. Eureka! Now all we gotta do is fuel up the old rocket power drill and you and, and I can- I can take it and go. But don't you want to test it first? No time. The, uh, the the last train for DC leaves in just a few minutes. All right. You've got to get this baby to the U.S. Patent Office. Uh, yeah, that's exactly. right. So tell me, I Michael, kind of feel bad for lying. When can I expect to hear back from the Patent Office? Uh, three week, three days, one week, a month to six weeks. Uh, one week. Oh, in about, I'd say. Uh, I, I feel can't. bad. Huh? Emmett, I'm not from the patent office. I don't understand. I, I, I lied to you, but I, I didn't want to. It was just, it was the only way I can get you to trust me. See, there's somebody who's in big trouble. Someone very important to me, to, to both of us. I, I can't tell you who, but I need to save him tonight. And, and I need your invention to do it. Ah, oh, man, now I feel really bad. I'll get it back to you, I promise. And, Emmett, you're gonna be a great inventor. Maybe this is what makes him actually go down that path of becoming an inventor and a scientist. Maybe this spurs Wait. him on. Keep the throttle at about eight. Well, at least there's no hard feelings, I guess. Guess. I should say my guest. Past tense. What am I talking about? I guess. Keep the throw about eight. We'll have to remember that. Okay, Doc. I got the drill. Now let's get you out of here. That is one crazy looking Come drill. On, start. Whoa. Uh oh. Bad time for company to show up. Is he even in there? Whoops. Mr. Corleone. Hello. Uh, bad time for it's you to show up. Late. Too late. The doc's not supposed to be. Doc. They're moving him to another facility for safekeeping. Oh, I better go get a quote from the police chief. Why is she letting us break him out? Paddy wagon intercept oh. suspect slain, and they're still after him. We've changed gonna it. We're going to rescue him now. Uh, okay, I guess we've got to use these bits mm. At somehow. Least the rocket part came out of this in one piece. Ooh, can we attach it to the bike? I'm guessing it's the only thing it lets us do. To be honest, I can't even walk with it. <laughs> Make a rocket propelled bike. I mean, that's pretty cool. I'm not going to lie. Hopefully we didn't need any of those other pieces. And away we go. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Yeah, it wouldn't let me do anything else there. I couldn't... Once I picked up the rockets, it wouldn't let me move or interact with anything. Or even put it back down. So I'm guessing we didn't miss anything there. At least I'm hoping so. But I guess we'll see. So here we go, service station. 17 cents for gas. Ooh, that looked like kid. So Doc's in there. Here we come on the rocket propelled bike. Well, we're going really fast. Okay, we're making ground on it. Whoop. We crashed into it. <laughs> There goes the basket. Still in danger, Doc. 
get you out of here. Come on, stop. I said you're still in danger. Never mind, never mind. Get me out of here and we'll talk later. That's pretty much what we said. Um, okay, so we can go around the sides. Can we talk to Doc? No, okay. Um, let's go round. Can we... Oh, we can talk to him from here, I think. Don't worry, Doc, I'll get you out. Don't worry, Doc, I'll get you out. We can't hold on uh, Okay. I'll be back. I'll wait right here. So there's a box down here. A tire iron, was that? Oh, I pressed the wrong button again. Uh, a tire iron. We've also got a newspaper and all that crap. Um, can we... It is Kid. What are you doing here? Okay, so there's a set of keys, keys. there. The window shut tight. Can we smash the window? With this? Why on earth would I want to whack that with a tire iron? Smash it. Uh, okay. Let's go back this way then, I guess. Oh, can we smash the lock? They're locked. Oh, no! I guess we need the key, but let's try using the tire iron anyway. They won't budge. No. Okay, um, let's go around the other side then. We must have to go around there. Oh, the spare tire, perhaps? Uh, let's try using the tire iron on there. Oh. Okay. So we got the hubcap. It's a hubcap. Descriptive, Marty. Thank you. Uh, is there anything we can do over here? I mean, we can look in the window. Or we can talk to him, can we? Keys. I get him. I think he knows we're here. Can we use the hubcap on him? I don't think throwing the hubcap at that would do any good. Uh, okay. Can we talk to Doc and get any ideas? Okay. I can't break the lock. You can't break the lock. There's a key, but it's probably a lock. It is. Um, I found the keys, but I can't reach them. The keys are on the dashboard, but I can't reach them. What? what the hell is that? Reach extender. Reach extender. Kid Tannen's driving the truck. Kid Tannen's driving the truck. Kid Tannen? That explains a lot. Uh. Okay, so we need a I'll reach extender. Does that mean we've got to combine something in here? We've literally only got the hubcap. Can we use that on anything? I don't know that we can. Um, can we do anything to I the don't bike? Think the hubcap, but that would do any good. Okay, let's go a bit further along. Is there anything else we can do? Ah, the aerial! Okay, can we combine the antenna with the the hubcap? Is that a thing? Doesn't look like it, does it? Uh, okay. So we can't combine items like we can in Monkey Island. Not sure what that'll do. Can we... There's not a lot else we can do here, is there? Can use the antenna on the window? No good, the window shut. Okay. Can we do I this? Don't think the hubcap, but that would do any good. Right, so do we just use the antenna through the other window? Let's try it, I guess. There's not really a lot else we can do. Uh Guess we'll just use the antenna on the window. Right, so he's, he notices we're there. Can we 
get any more hints from the dock. Uh, I found the keys, but I can't. Ri I need a distraction. I need a distraction. Okay. Leave it to me. Hey, driver. Ah. Here we go. Right, let's grab these keys. All so close. We did it. I think we've done it. Oh. Thanks, Doc. I guess that's why they call you the street. How did you know that? I have my sources. Don't worry about how we know that. Uh, okay. Let's use the keys to get him out. Before this comes to a stop, which I'm guessing is probably what's going to happen. Stand back, Doc. Out you come, buddy. Ah, oh. Ooh. Oh, no, he's got a gun. How many bullets has he got in that thing? Uh, can we use the hubcap on it? Oh, we're going to throw it and knock a gun out of his hand. I thought we were going to use it as some sort of shield. Right, now we're getting the gun. <laughs> Doc's face. I'll take that, thank you. Ah, do we use it on the chains? Let's try it. Yes, we do. Ooh. This is a okay, this is um, the idea. not exactly going particularly well, is it? Uh, any ideas? Got any ideas? Doesn't, but none of them are applicable to this situation. Right. What now? So what do we do now? I was hoping you knew. Uh, you know, it'd be useful right now. Why couldn't you younger self have built us a hoverboard? That's true. Hit the throttle, I guess. I haven't got much else choice. Uh, not sure that was a good idea, to be honest. Oh, we flew out the back. <laughs> Into the manure. It always happens to the talents. That was a pretty good place to land. Right at the DeLorean? That couldn't have worked out any better, could it? I'm fine. But I wonder what sorts of bizarre repercussions my younger self's invention of a flying bicycle will have on the timeline. I mean, nobody's seen it. Did you know well, that would happen? I had kid a suspicion. Did. I never could keep those rockets from exploding. So, what do we do now? Now we Leave? get back to 1986 before our interactions with the past inevitably cascade into a calamitous future. Where'd you leave Einstein? Uh, he's in town. Uh, Doc? He's not in the pound, is he? No, he's in town. No, uh, oh. I've got bigger problems right now. We've somehow... Hey, Scott! ...caused ourself not to exist. To be continued. Oh, I wonder if that's the end of episode one, then. I guess maybe now Kid kills Artie or something. And then that makes Marty not exist. Because obviously if George can't exist, then Marty can't exist. Wow, the plot thickens. We saved the dock, but in doing so, we've um, potentially wiped ourselves out. Oh, in the next episode. Here we go. Uh, what's happening? I don't know. We'll have to be careful not to run into ourselves. Ooh. Hey, fellas. All right, McFly. Let's go see the boss. History says Tanner will be arrested by a rookie cop by the name of Danny Parker. 
I fear that nothing will save Hill Valley from descending into the fires of chaos and corruption. Nothing is over until Kid Tannen says it's over. To be continued in Back to the Future of the Game, Get Tannen, which is going to be episode two. So it looks like we've got to go back to 1931 again. Before now, using the DeLorean, avoid ourselves and save the others. Um, yeah, it's got slightly confusing. I'm excited to see what happens next though. Um, I have no idea what's going to happen, but we shall see. Um, so that is going to do it for this one. We'll start episode two in the very next one, of course. We're going to play all the episodes back to back to complete the game. So as always, guys, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button. It really does help the channel to grow, so I do appreciate it. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell if you're new, or just haven't already done so. And I'll see you all next time.